Aloha and good morning everyone. It's Saturday morning. I'm up a little bit early. I haven't even showered yet. But I figure it's because I'm going to get a little bit dirty in just a little bit because I've decided today that I'm going to harvest one of my red potatoes in a five gallon bucket. So this is the bucket that I'm going to be harvesting. From what I've read, um, you're supposed to wait until most of the leaves are dying. Um, and that seems to be the case with that. Plus, we seem to have some red potatoes peeking through. So I thought, well, today would be a good day. And that's what I'm going to do. I have my tarp all ready. So here we go. So this is what I was able to harvest. I know it's not a lot, but considering I don't grow things very well, um, I'm really surprised <laughs> that I did get this amount. I did find a few that were rotted or rotting in here, so I think it's a good thing that I decided to harvest today. But again, this is what I, I got and I'm pretty happy with it. As for this one, I think I'm going to let it go for another week or so and then harvest it looking pretty good still but I'm just wondering how much I'm gonna have in, in this one I don't see any potatoes peeking out but you know they're growing I think and here's a little update on my garden bed so I have this one tomato that's been growing and then I noticed there was another one over here coming in and another one right here right by the other tomato. I don't see any on this plant, but I do see a lot of flowers, so I'm hopeful and excited. These are my bell pepper plants. Um, so I do have one coming in, but there's brown spots, and I'm thinking something's getting to it, obviously. So I don't know what to do, and I do have another one, and it has the same problem. So I don't know if it's bugs or... I did have some birds ate some off of that one. These are really slow to bloom. Then I have my zucchinis over here. They seem to be doing okay. Uh, they have some flowers and everything going. So, and those are my watermelons. This is my broccoli. The interesting thing is I planted some lettuce right over there at the same time as the broccoli. And as you can see, the broccoli is coming up, but the lettuce never sprouted. It seems to be the same case here. In this area right here, I planted some carrots, and right here I put some asparagus, and they're not popping up either, and it's been about a month. So, I don't know. I did get some seed starter trays, and I started the seeds in there. So hopefully I can make them germinate, sprout, whatever, and then replant them out here. And as you can see, I have to weed. It's all along the edges. So I almost forgot about my strawberries. Um, a couple of days ago, we had two big ones right about here and they got big and red. And so we picked them and brought them to the house and we ate them and they were really sweet and delicious. So I have more flowers coming in and this one is just turning red. So I'm really excited to get more strawberries. This is my blueberry plant. Um, some of the berries are finally turning blue. So I'm excited about that too. It's later in the day and I am now going to transfer these two strawberry plants into this container. And all it is is just a plastic bin and I drilled some holes in the bottom for drainage. I 
I don't know what happened with the drill, but it cracked it, but I think it should be fine. But yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm going to attempt to do now that it's cooler. So I had some dirt left that I had bought from Lowe's. This was what was left in the bag. So I'm going to have to go and get some more from our compost pile that we have here in the backyard. This is our compost pile in the backyard. Well, it's on the side of the house, but um, we started it after we had some leftover from the garden bed. So it's just been sitting here in the corner and I'm just going to take a shovel full or two just to fill up that plastic container for the strawberries. Okay, so I got the strawberry plants out whole and just placed them in the container. Now I just have to put in the rest of the dirt. Hopefully this works and I didn't pull it up by any roots or anything. Okay, so here it is, replanted and everything. Hopefully this is more room for the vines to spread out. As you can see, I made a big mess I have to clean up, but the strawberry pots have been replanted. I also took the chance to clean up my mess from this morning. I cleaned out the bucket and the tarp. Wasn't able to do it this morning because the sprinklers were on and so I was messing with the water pressure so I couldn't use the hose properly. But I've got that cleaned up and I think that's it. I'll call it a day. So far it's been a really great experience just learning how to grow food and care for it. Hopefully I can keep this going and get some good veggies and fruits. But anyway, I think I'm gonna call it a night. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.